Hey everyone, Brendan Snyder here, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another video. So I just got back from my favorite record store, you guys know it, Sound Exchange. And I came back with 10 things. So I got some great scores from the record store today that I wanna run through with you guys. Uh, it was just a blast. It had been a little while since I had been there, so digging through everything. Uh, they've got a complete new layout to the store. All the CDs are on one side. They're much easier to access now. And it was just like, you know, Christmas Day going through it again for the first time kind of a thing. I was finding stuff that's probably been there, but I hadn't come across simply because of the way the store had been organized before. So they've been grouping a lot together and um, can't wait to run through all of this with you. 10 things in here I'm gonna go through with you, but we're gonna do that in just a minute. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please do leave a comment, hit like, all those things do help. And of course, if you turn on notifications, you'll stay up to date on cool videos just like this, where I'm going through all the loot that I just got from the record store. And so without further ado, let's jump into it because that is the fun part here so 10 cds i had no intention of going in and buying this much um, i really thought i was just going in you know to kind of see what was around maybe pick up something new that i saw that was it but i ended up spending about four hours there and you guys know i go pretty often so the fact that i was able to spend that much time and find this much great stuff uh, was just really cool um, i also want to give a shout out to two guys that i ran into while i was there David and Don, and I apologize if I got the names wrong, I'm pretty sure that's what uh, they told me, but they came from England, flew over here just to hit record stores, and having watched some of my videos, they were stopping by those record stores, including Sound Exchange, and I thought that was pretty cool because what are the odds on the particular day that they come to the United States that they decide to go to Sound Exchange that I happen to go to Sound Exchange and I got to run into them. So it was great meeting you guys. And uh, certainly if any of you guys uh, out there, you know, see me when I'm out at record stores, feel free to come up and say hi. I always love to meet uh, fellow music fans. So again, let's get started in this. First one up, Judas Priest. Uh, this one here is called um, Live and Rare. It's got 10 tracks on it. Japanese import, uh, as you can see. Um, it's got the hits and stuff on it, but they're all the... B sides that came from singles at the time. So, um, you know, a single came out, had a live B side or something on it. Well, they collected them all together here. And I've actually been hunting for this for a while to find this at a good price. And uh, finally, I uh, decided to pick it up there at Sound Exchange. I actually think I had seen it before, but I don't know. This time it spoke to me. Maybe that's because the brand new Judas Priest single just dropped, Panic Attack. I'm loving that. I'm deep in, in my mindset of Judas Priest, and I saw this. So that was a, a good thing. I always enjoy being able to find something new from a favorite band when I'm psyched about a new release that's coming out. It just goes hand in hand, in my opinion. Uh, this one I had seen you know, around at different times in the past, never knew too much about it. Um, it's a Megadeth release, and this is not cryptic writings. They're calling this cryptic sounds, and it's no voices in your head. So it's instrumental versions of five tracks, Almost Honest, Vortex, Trust, A Secret Place, and She-Wolf. And um, I read some stuff online about it, it that they had added guitar to it uh, to take the place of lead vocals. I'm not entirely sure if that's true. I think it might just be that they stripped away the vocals and now you're getting to hear that guitar that normally is sung over the top. I could be wrong. I got to do my homework now. But I got to listen to one of the tracks. Uh, you know, did my search, looked stuff up, found it on YouTube, and I really liked what I was hearing. So. Even though it's an EP, uh, Japanese import, I decided to go ahead and pick it up and add it to the collection. Um, so that one there is pretty cool. I'm, I don't know if I'm most excited about that, but I was super excited when I found that. And here is my last Thunder album, the one album I didn't have from the band. I'm finally adding it to the collection, Shooting at the Sun, a Japanese import version of it. Uh, very excited about that as well. And this is one that I had been looking for uh, since moving out here to New Jersey and finding all these great record stores. Whenever I see the Thunder section, I've been checking and there hasn't been one in there. So um, cool to see that Sound Exchange got a copy in, including a Japanese version uh, for me to pick up. This next one here was pretty cool. I have not checked out the sound, so I don't know what I'm buying here. And you guys know I'm not a big fan of live albums, but I'm taking a chance on this one. 
called Tesla Unplugged and Uncensored. And it looks pretty legit. I mean, I know it's not authorized by the band, so I don't know if this is a record label type thing, but uh, it's 1991, it's on the Metal Memory label, and I have seen that around, uh, so that's why I said I think this is legit. Um, it looks like it comes, you know, maybe an Italian release, and like I said, I've got uh, some other things on the Metal Memory label. But it says the source is the Ritz, New York, June 27th of 1990. And if you've ever looked at the back of Five Man Acoustical Jam, that was the date they were supposed to record the show. They script, you know, etched it out and said that they recorded the show three days later at the Troubadour, I think it was. So I'm kind of hoping this is that original show and I get to hear that as what Five Man Acoustical Jam was supposed to be as opposed to what it became. Um, my guess is they did record both shows, but they just liked the performance of the other one better. And this has a couple different tracks on it, including a cover of the Dawkins song Breaking the Chain and one called George Lynch Blues. So I don't know if those guys came out and jammed with them or what, but those two additional uh, cover songs are on here. And I'm pretty excited about it. The rest of it is pretty much in the same order. Uh, they do flip a few tracks around, so um, could just be a fun listen either way. And I've kind of hunted for these, uh, you know, this type of a release before, but never seen it on CD. The Byron Band, and we're talking about um, uh, the lead singer David Byron from Uriah Heep. And this release here called On the Rocks, pretty cool. Um, cover there on it. Uh, it looks like it's, uh, you know, so it's a reissue. It's got some additional tracks, four songs. Originally came out in 1981, reissued in 1993. Um, this is one of the ones, if you've seen my, you know, how to remove pesky little stickers and price tags and things like that, I'm going to have to do that again on this guy here, not to mention <laughs> with all this stuff. But I've never seen this on CD. And I've found a couple of his solo albums on record a while back but not CD. So even though this one here was not in the most pristine quality, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. And this here, finally I found one. This has taken a long time. The Best of Judas Priest. Now this is of the early days. This is their from their first two albums when they were on Goal Records. There's the back of it. It's got eight tracks. This has been reissued a bunch of times, but it always has an interview at the end of it. And I don't want the stupid interview. I just want the music. So every time I see it, I always pick it up to see if it's an original or whether it's a reissue. And this one here is one without that interview on it. So I was very happy to score that. And this goes back a ways, but if you guys remember when I recent, well, when I say recent, I mean, it could be six months, might even be a year ago at this point, sort of formally got into Huey Lewis. I'd always kind of liked his stuff. I had a greatest hits, but I had never really dug into him. And then I started buying a whole bunch of stuff and really, really enjoyed his music. And one that I wanted was the second album, Picture This. And every time I go into a store, I always check the Huey Lewis section for this. And lo and behold, today, I found it for $4.98, a lot cheaper than it is online. So SonicChange did it right for me, had a great price on this. It's in good condition. And this album just has a different feel than the other Huey Lewis stuff. So this one was just a nice uh, sort of alternative to the big hits that I know. In fact, I don't actually know that I know any hits off of this, but I had streamed the album and really enjoyed it. And so that one there was a really good score for me. A while back, I talked about a local band from New Jersey called The Donner Party, and I bought a vinyl version because at that time, no CDs existed. But, um, you know, store owner talked to the guys and said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm selling these and people are interested. Maybe you should do some CDs. Lo and behold, some CDs showed up. So this one's called Cutting Class. Same thing that I've got on the vinyl, but now I've got a CD edition of it. Um, you can stream them. I know they're on Spotify. Probably can buy this off of their website. If not, you can call up Anthony at Sound Exchange. I'm sure he would mail one to anyone who lives far enough away that they can't travel uh, to get it if you're interested in uh, some local uh, thrash metal that's really good. Now these next two, um, one's a brand new release, but one goes back and they go out of print so fast, it's so hard to get. I've never seen these on CD. Group is called Gunship. This is their debut album 
And when I, it's synth wave, synth pop style stuff. So you can look at that album cover and just know what you're getting right away with that. And I really dug it the first time I heard it when I was uh, looking for more stuff that sounded like the music in Stranger Things. And I sort of found out what that was referred to and that there was a revival of it in bands. And this is one of the ones that kept popping up. So I would stream it and I liked it, but I could never find a CD version. Plenty of vinyl, just no CD. So found that, and then I decided to go ahead and pick up their brand new album. This one just came out, I don't know, a couple weeks back maybe, called Unicorn. And I just decided, you know, I better pick it up now, otherwise it isn't gonna be around later on. And I um, wanna thank Anthony, because he was surprised that it was out of print. I know he just threw it in, uh, in order to see if it would ever show up kind of a thing. And lo and behold, it was in the section for me. So um, great that he did that. And that was actually done, uh, that, that conversation, if you guys saw the video where we did uh, the best way to clean a record, that was the day he and I had the conversation about this because this had just dropped. And I said, oh, I really want the older stuff. And he was surprised that it wasn't available. So like I said, he threw it into, uh, you know, the, I don't know, the order cart or whatever that he does from uh, getting this stuff distributed to him. You know, only music stores have access to this sort of stuff, but I got it uh, now. So that was cool. 10 CDs, there you go. It was a mega haul today. Uh, very cool stuff. Got some old stuff, some new stuff in here. And then, you know, I still got all the stuff that dropped on Friday. So I'm having a great weekend here. I hope you guys are too. Let me know the new finds you had. If you hit up any record stores, that's pretty cool. And again, a shout out to David and Don, who I saw at Sound Exchange coming all the way over from England. How cool is that? Uh, just uh, pretty amazing, the power of music and what it does and how far people will go uh, to explore and check out new stuff. Anyway, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care, have a good one, and I'll certainly be talking to you real soon. Bye-bye.